What up, Nami Amuro fanaticals? This is Steven, and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time, I'll be analyzing the cover of a Nami single ballerina. And this is actually um, a single ballerina is a digital single. Um, just a little FYI there. Um, it's not, it wasn't the traditional single that appears on the Oricon music charts. Um, you know, but nevertheless, here we are, and here we go. Alright, so when I first look at this photo, I notice Namie has caught the light really well. You know, her skin seems to be glowing, you know. And the background is kind of interesting too. It looks like the background is kind of glowing too a little bit. Um, however, I don't understand the outfit that she's wearing. Um, I don't really get that outfit. It looks like somebody like murdered a peacock, then used it to make this outfit, you know. Um, but nevertheless, uh, Namie is working it as best as she can. You know, and I like the body position that Namie has in this photo. You know, she's really playing into the theme of ballerina with this photo, like some type of a dance move here. You know, it looks like her body is in motion. So I definitely give Namie kudos for being able to pull that off. <clears throat> um, but the issue are the issues that I have with this photo are first the facial expression it's I don't know it's a little vacant a little lacking spirit and the eyes are nice but they look a little dead you know this is almost coming off as like sort of a kind of like either a lovely corpse are either a soulless person you know on a journey to reclaim their soul you know to get back their soul that someone stole from them <clears throat> and I just think that is because Namie just didn't give us a strong enough facial expression thus coming off you know very lackadaisical um, However, kudos to Namie for giving us good neck and giving us um, a great body position as well. You know, she's pulling this off pretty well in those aspects, you know. You know, her hair is interesting too. You know, it's different. I'll give Namie and her team credit for that. It's different. I'm not used to seeing Namie with like a bun on top of her head. And I think that it works, you know, it kind of adds a little edge to this photo, you know. <clears throat> and it plays into the theme well, you know, it doesn't take away or distract from the theme, ballerina. You know, this background is a little odd for me. Um, it works, but it's a little odd for me because it looks like she's in like in front of like a stone wall or something and it probably would make better sense if she was like maybe in like some sort of a dance studio or on stage or in a club like somewhere where you would dance at but nevertheless this does work <clears throat> it still works you know and again with this outfit I don't understand who thought this outfit was a great outfit? But to Namie's credit, she is pulling off this outfit outfit pretty well, considering, you know. So I give Namie credit for that, you know. And it's a shame because, like, a lot of things, like, Namie is bringing it in this photo despite, you know, a couple of things not being here or there. But, again, the facial expression is kind of what brings this photo down, you know. The facial expression isn't the worst facial expression. Um, I kind of think I get what she's trying to go for. Maybe somewhat like of a a whimsical, wide-eyed, in awe 
sort of look. Um, I don't think that really plays into the theme of ballerina. <clears throat> I think that a more intense facial expression would have pulled off the theme better than this facial expression. This facial expression sort of just comes off as like lacking emotion, you know, lacking spirit, you know. And, you know, I know that Namie does have, you know, soul and emotion. And I just wish that it was better presented in this photo. Also, another thing that I want to mention is that you don't see Namie's other arm in this photo. And that and that's a bit odd, you know. You know, when you are modeling and, you know, posing for pictures, you have to make sure that all your limbs are visible or else it kind of looks like you're missing a limb, you know, a part of your body. And that doesn't make for the best photo. That throws the photo off. That, you know, decreases the quality of the photo when you're missing, you know, a significant part of your body, you know? However, despite missing a limb, despite having a whack outfit, you know, despite having a strange background, despite a lackadaisical facial expression, it's not that bad, really, you know? Things seem to fall into place, you know, pretty well considering all those issues with the photo. And really, like I said before, the one thing, like the facial expression, if that was on point, everything else could, you know, fall into place even better. Um, and the facial expression isn't bad, but it just sort of just comes off as a bit lackadaisical, you know. Um, but it's not, looking at it more, you know, it's not the worst facial expression, you know. Her eyes do seem to have a little life behind them, now that I look at it a little bit more. Um, but I guess I just expected a more intense facial expression because of the theme, ballerina. You know, I maybe expected not me to have a look of determination, you know, a look of like, yeah, I'm fierce, what? You know, something like that. Um, so for me, the facial expression is a little weak, but it's not the worst facial expression in the world. You know, it just didn't hit the mark when it comes to me. But I think overall, Namie did hit the mark with this photo. So I think this photo is a respectable photo. Um, what do you guys think of the photo? Feel free to let me know. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Until the next photo analysis, adios and goodbye for now.